everyone. I am your supervisor for today for your computer class. If you have any questions, now is the time. Excuse me. Yeah, I do have your names on my phone. Um, who uses paper anyway? Since 2023. <laughs> you guys, how old are you in this class? Oh. Okay, oh, okay. Alright, so you should be responsible and mature. Perfect. So I'm gonna take the presents, okay. Store me. Most precious Diana, the king, the king three, sorry, there's three of you in the cloud, three, okay, paper bag, all right, superstar, all right, Malibu Barbie, Okay. I am everything. Okay. Soupy, soupy, soupy. She never shows up to class anyway. Okay. Little diamond two o four. I need to raise your hand. Okay. We don't have all afternoon. Okay, water pure, water pure, water pure. Okay, beautiful. Um, Candy Crush fan. Candy Crush fan. Hello. Raise your hand. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Are you here? Okay. Blessing, blessing, okay. <sighs> this is such a long list. Uber Eats, okay, got you. Um, for the rest of the people that are in the class, just register yourself. I'll distribute an iPad for everyone. Because to be honest with you, I'm a little bit tired. I was not supposed to supervise today. Um, okay. So everybody sit down. Do you have any questions about, um, yesterday's homework? I think is written here. Yeah? Okay, what's your question? Just Google it. Do I look like I know that? <laughs> um, any other questions? No, I don't know if it's going to be in the exam. I am just here for one day to supervise and then I'm gone. So just, you know what, keep your questions for when your teacher is coming back. All right. Okay, so we're going to start with today's lesson. Everybody, take your notebooks. Take your notebooks. Yeah, I don't use paper usually. iPads are better, but I don't have a choice. I'm not making the rules here, okay? So just focus on the lesson. Open up page 42. Open up page 42. Please, everybody, don't waste my time. Just open up page 42. Um, okay, so it says to start AutoCAD, you will need to press Control alt and there's a list of shortcuts. So basically, I, like, what am I supposed to teach? Like, you guys can read, basically. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you an example, so... You know, I, 
I need to be paid, so I'm gonna do this, but you guys could do it on your own. You're going to press shift alt. You can press shift here as well. Enter. And you're gonna be um, tapping these numbers when you enter. I want your line size and thickness when you're building the walls around your plans, okay? To use a color blue because we're gonna be cutting through it, okay? You guys are falling or you're sleeping. Hmm. If you're too tired to come to class, don't come to class. What is so hard to understand? I've never fell asleep on my desk. So, yes, I'm in a position to talk. And also, if you were to be in a firm right now where you are engaged, where you are hired to work, you would be fired right now. So I see some people laughing, but listen, let's just focus, 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 focus on the focus, focus, focus on the lesson, focus on the lesson. It's not that hard. So you're going to take your cap. Your tap. You're gonna hold on to the T, B, C, X. You're gonna hold on to these keys. Most important is Control Alt, Control Alt, Control Alt, Control Alt, Control Alt, Control. And you can press the space bar to release. So you can change trajectory. Remember, we are building a palace, so I want to have thick walls. You're gonna double these walls and you're gonna insert a lot of windows. So when we insert a window, we go for a thinner line and we're gonna use red, okay? We're gonna use red, we're gonna cut through the windows because your plan is 2D, it's not 3D, okay? Do you guys have questions so far? don't look like I want to be here. Um, blessing, I would ask you kindly to look at my outfit. I obviously got ready to be here. Okay. I have authority, let me remind you. And it is not because I have this gorgeous fit, it's because I'm the supervisor today. So, better questions, please. Look, I don't know anything about your homeworks. Mm -hmm. Well, if you are not doing a palace before, just start a palace now. It's going to be good practice and you need that practice. You need that practice. I don't need that practice. You need that practice. Okay? So you're going to continue on to building, 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 building. And you can press 8908. You can press these keys to build your shortcuts. You can build a full shortcut portfolio so that way it's just easier when you want to build when you want to build something else that doesn't have to be a palace. Okay. Yes, what's your question? If it doesn't work, try again until it works. It should be working. I didn't invent these keyboards. Everyone has an 8, a 9, and a 0, okay? Oh, okay, maybe if it's 1, 2, 3, it could be 1, 2, 3. If it's 1, 2, 3, you're in 1, 2, 3. <sighs> it's not complicated. Seriously, I'm wondering if you guys will end up wearing jobs in the future because you guys are really hard to focus on the wrong thing. Focus on the wrong thing. Ask about the questions. with you. I'm here today for my pay, okay? 
I don't know anything about computer science. I was forced to be here today. I don't want to be here, but yet I am. So when you guys are complaining that it's difficult, I'm feeling the same way. Can we just find a middle ground of acceptance? Because we're all in the same situation. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> What's important for you to remember is pitching your projects, okay? So part two of the class, now that you have your list of shortcuts, just leave your computer to the side, AutoCAD to the side, and you're going to open your notebook. I know, it's paper. Open your notebook to page 14.1 and we're going to talk about presentation, presenting your projects because that is important, okay? That matters. You can do the best work in the game, but if you don't know how to present it, how am I supposed to know that it's the best? So we're going to work on that confidence, we're going to work on that oomph, that little like spice it up, spice it up, bring it up, okay? That's something that I'm good with and I'll be able to help you. So when you present a project, you need to really understand why is it so needed and hammer down on these points. You need to make me feel like your project is the next big thing. Mm hmm Exactly, King. Yes. Basically, everything has been done before. So realistically, do I need your project? No. But is there a way for you to present it to me in a compelling way? Yes. So, with your palace project, you need to know, number one, who is it for? Who are you creating this project for? And hammer down on knowing your client. You need to know your client, okay? And really talk to them directly. You need to talk to them directly, directly. You need to talk to your clients directly and show them who's selling, okay? If you cannot sell a pen, there's a low chance that you'll be able to sell something else. So do not even get me started about hard words, difficult sentences. If you cannot sell your project to a 10 years old, you cannot sell that project. I should not feel like I'm not smart enough to understand, and you should not feel smarter than your client, even if you are. Okay? Beautiful. So, if I am, as an example, and now you can take pictures, videos of me presenting, um, it's going to be good for your exam. I don't care if the exam is just about computer science. You will need to sell yourself at the end of the day. Because how many people know how to do computer science? Let's be real. This is... You guys are very lucky that you're having this bonus class with me today. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys are very lucky. Okay. Anything else? Yes, uh, you, can, you can put it on Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so if I'm selling you this notebook, well, you might think that this is just a regular notebook, but it has something very special that young ladies will definitely appreciate. See, most journals, what happened to them is that they're too thick and therefore you 
either stop using it and then your thoughts remain cluttered in your mind or it's heavy to travel around um, you have too many notes in it and you cannot separate your books with one another because everything is in one place so with this notebook, we opted for a very girly design, so the target audience uh, find peace and calm by just looking at it. It's small enough to fit in a purse and thin enough to make you feel like you are taking a lot of notes and you're a good student. See, when the notebooks have too many pages, the student will feel like he's doing less and so this is subconscious encouragement for all students around the world to do more with less and every time you finish a notebook you can get another one from the same collection with a cute design and when you've been through 10 of these you unlock a special notebook customized to you and when you customize a notebook we sell it in limited quantities so that you can have your own little business selling your own little notebook to people and we cover the cost same thing with the material we want to be eco-friendly and so when you're done with your notebook you can completely put this into the ground and a three will grow and this is why it was so important for us to truly create something memorable that would allow our kids at school to grow and learn through the power of aesthetic beauty and empowerment. What, what do you think? You know, that's how you do it, class. Okay? Yes, Blessing? <laughs> no, this doesn't turn into a tree at all. Um... But who cares? Embellish the story. That's what I want from you, okay? When you're selling yourself. They, they won't. How, how would they know? They won't know. So I want you to really embellish the story as much as you need. I trust you to make me proud, okay? Computer science is one thing, but selling your skills is another. And that is very important. Okay, now... Open your book, page 46. Because <sighs> words are one thing. But you cannot rely only on words to sell. Okay. So, what we're going to do instead is focus on your posture. And making sure that you feel confident, you feel strong. Okay, at an interview or just doing a presentation, you need to feel confident or else who's going to feel confident for you? <laughs> Not me. So you must have that confidence. Standing tall, shoulders back, hips straight, hands behind the back. It gives you a more thrust worthy appearance. You can also use your hands to emphasize what you say, of course. Um, but that's really it, class, for today. <laughs> that's very kind. I understand that you want more, but I'm really done here. Yeah, I know there's still two hours to the class, but it's quality over quantity. That's something you need to learn as well in presentations. You can speak for hours, but people are going to fall asleep. People are going to fall asleep to what you say if you speak for hours. You speak for hours. 